everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today will be another Halloween look. Today I plan on doing Heath Ledger's Joker. I just feel like that is the Joker that people most liked. Because the Joker before Heath Ledger was like a little bit too clowny and then like Jared's Joker... Anyway, as usual, I'll be voicing this over and everything that I use will be listed down below. While you are checking that out, please hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and let's get started. So off camera, I covered up my eyebrows. I'm not going to show that here in this video. I'm starting with sort of like the neck and the shoulders. So Joker is wearing like a dress shirt with a tie and a vest and a blazer. He's, he's very extra. So I'm outlining that all out first before I go in with any sort of paint with an, a white eyeliner. I'm taking the Mehran Paradise Face Paints. This is a water-based face paint. And I'm going to be basically using this all over my shoulders. I'm copying the color scheme uh, that I pulled up on my phone and it's just like a picture of him from the movie. On the dress shirt, there are these little like hexagon shapes and while there's a pattern within the shapes as well, I'm not going to go and do that level of detail because I'm afraid that it's just going to get too messy. So I outlined the little hexagons with dark blue face paint and then um, went in with a tie. I think this is like supposed to be like a dark green. I don't know if you can tell if it's a dark green or if it just looks black on the screen. The vest that he is wearing is this like lime green color and so I just put on a little bit of that and then I think his like lapel for his coat and the color of his coat differ by just a little bit but instead of mixing like a purple and a darker purple I just used two different shades of purple that were already in this palette to make it easier on myself so I used more of like an orchid type of purple for the the lapel and then um a purple purple like, like intense purple I guess for the blazer so that basically is like the type of look that he is going for and then I'm using a dark gray eyeshadow to just sort of outline the different parts of the jacket just to make it look like it's a little bit shadowed and then going with the black face paint I am outlining some of the parts as well just to sort of separate the colors. I think he's got these little like white details on his lapel so I'm just dotting them on here with a brush. Next I'm taking white from the CC Flash palette and I'm just going to sponge that all over my face so I prefer for broad coverage like this the grease based paints because it doesn't get quite as streaky as the Mehran ones especially the white I just feel like this gives like a better coverage without looking too terribly patchy or streaky for the blacks of his eyes I'm using the P Louise black base and I left my eyes sort of without the white on purpose but the black is still sort of blending in with the white and making it a little bit gray. So here I'm taking a black eyeshadow and dabbing it all over just to make the black more intense and to like sort of set that. I'm also kind of bringing it out a little bit further, a little bit blown out. His makeup is just like in general very messy so that's kind of what I'm going for. I'm now drawing on his like forehead wrinkles. He's got hella wrinkles up here and I'm basically taking the same the same flash palette in like different shades of like beige and drawing on these little squiggly wrinkles and I basically like went kept going in like a color darker so that it would stand out more. So here I am going in again with like it's like a light brown at this point but I think that looks okay. I'm doing that as well on the bottom here just to give myself some smile lines. His makeup basically like separates where his wrinkles are and it like bleeds into each other. So I'm going to start this first before I apply the red sort of like smile color on. So top and bottom smile lines, just a couple on each side. And then I'm taking this is like a like a darker strawberry red and I am dabbing it all over my lips and bringing the smile out. I'm also starting to blend this into like those smile lines that I created earlier and I'm just like dabbing on more paint as I need to. Like I said, the makeup is meant to be really messy so I wouldn't worry too much about it being symmetrical or anything like that. Here I took a more vibrant red and I just went in and sort of concentrated on the middle of the smile and now I'm blending sort of like the black into the red. So that is it for my face. For my hair, I was originally going to just use green hairspray, but then I realized as I was doing this that I bought the wrong hairspray and it was glow in the dark and not green. So I took a mascara disposable wand, went in with that same line green as I did with the vest, and just raked it through my hair. 
So that is it for my Heath Ledger Joker makeup look. I actually really like how it turned out. I like that I did the shoulders first before I did my face because otherwise I tend to get really impatient once I get to the shoulders. Anyway, I uh, absolutely love this. Thank you guys so much for watching my content. Stick around for more looks and I hope to see you next time. Bye!